Welcome back, guys. Hello, hello. My name is Michael. And I'm Jeffrey. And this is Michael and Jeffrey's Top 5 podcast. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about all of our favorite uh, pop culture subjects. Mm. All of them. This uh, Thursday, we are going to be talking about uh, our nightmares. Ooh, for Spooktober. Dun, dun, dun. Spooktober is here, guys. <laughs> and uh, we are going to go ahead and kick her off with uh, our Disney villains that we uh, just came out on Tuesday. And today, we're going to talk about our nightmares. Ooh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, this is Halloween, guys, so it's supposed to be a little scary, right? Just a little, little bit. A little bit, just a little bit. A little mm-hmm. uh, ABC Family scary there. Mm-hmm. What? Uh, what is it now? Freeform? Freeform, yeah. 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 Freeform. It's just a discussion. We'll talk about it. We'll we'll dive deep into our nightmares and try to get to the bottom why we're having these nightmares. <laughs> Thank you, my love. My love just brought me some cookies right now. You know what I'm oh. saying? Oh, mm-hmm. check this out. Check this out. Oh, it's too hot. It's too hot. <laughs> wow. I'm burning my mouth. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and talk about our nightmares there. Um. I can start off with, you know, one of the scariest dreams I've ever had was probably like one of the shortest dreams that I ever had. Oh, it, it's um, so I'm laying I'm like laying down in the living room with my wife. Uh, and I think at the time, I'm not sure if we were married, but we were like living together still. And sometimes we would go to sleep in the living room, right? Mm-hmm. So, um, in the living room, there's a, at the time there was a broken screen. And so in the broken screen, you could, you were able to like go underneath, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, like, you know, and open the door. Uh, so I just remember it was kind of like early in the morning in my dream. And I remember just like laying down right there and looking towards the back screen door. And I just see somebody like a silhouette go underneath and then he walks up to where I'm laying, <laughs> and he points a gun right at my face. Oh, a gun? A gun, bro. And like, I just like, <laughs> like do that, mm-hmm. and I would every time. Um, no, I, I've only I only had it once, what? but it felt so real, it was so vivid. The fucking dream. It like it felt like somebody fucking pointed a gun at my face. Damn. And then I, just woke up like right away just like (gasps) like oh fuck and i think like i was i was fucking scared bro i woke up i was shaking up for Mm. sure did he so he crawled under the screen or did he like slither (laughs) oh he like crawled under the screen like that's why like it felt so real it's like something that somebody Mm. would do i mean like he didn't like go through the screen or through the door or anything he Mm. went under the screen and then he came up to us, and it was like, I think my wife was like in front of me, like laying kind of <laughs> in front of me, you know what I mean? But like, he like points a gun. It was like, at you or her? At me, oh. like in my face. Mm, damn. And I just remember seeing like the gun, like right here. And then just I wake up. What's the Ooh. guy that look like? Um, you remember? You know what? You know what? He kind of looked like Pee Wee. <laughs> so, so, yeah, bro. So this like, little guy with the guns pointing at Yeah. <laughs> he kind of like Pee Wee, but Dang. different. You know what I mean? Like, it wasn't Pee Wee. <laughs> but, like, that's, like, the like the kind of, like, Thatcher and, like, guy. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I like that. Mm. Um, but, yeah, dude. It was a trip. I fucking tripped out. I woke up. <laughs> Kill me. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. All right. All right. Yeah, you've only had it once, though. Yeah, that dream I've only it? had it. Once. Yeah, oh. most of these dreams I've only had once, except for like my like scary dream. Mm. Mm. All right, one of my scary dreams when I was a child. 
So mm. I used to watch Are You Afraid of the Dark? And mm-hmm. do you remember that episode with the aliens? That like land mm-hmm. in the forest. I think I think they pretty much the kid alien was like there, like haunting the kids, but all he wanted to do is get home. No. Well anyways, the, the, so this alien it was just like a beam of light. It's just like a it looks like a person, but it's all like bright. So you can't really mm-hmm. see faces or anything. So for some reason that freaked me out as a kid. And then I just remember in Las Vegas, so we're in the hotel. Um, it's like we're probably like in the tenth story, eighth story. Mm-hmm. So I'm sleeping on the bed, and then I just see a beam of light coming through the window. And I'm like freaking out. <laughs> and then pretty much it's the same alien like coming up, and then that's it. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I was terrified of that alien. I don't know why. Yeah, it's like those dreams that, like, like it just happens. And, like, I mean, I'm sure you've been, we've been sleeping for, like, hours and hours with just that one dream that lasts, like, what, like, probably, like, 30 seconds, mm-hmm. a minute. Mm-hmm. Gets you, bro. Yeah. It's crazy how your, your fucking brain works. Yeah. I wonder why we have nightmares. Hmm. Any neuroscientists out there? Uh, to our podcast. <laughs> let us know in the comments uh, why that happens. I know why we, or I've looked this up. I know why we have dreams, but I'm mm-hmm. not particular with nightmares. Why do we have dreams? Dreams is just you have, so you're, when your brain shuts off, you've been thinking about something like throughout the day mm-hmm. and subconsciously it gets stored in your brain and then usually i guess 80 percent of the time whatever you thought about that day will be your dream or some sort of some sort of relation to it um but yeah, it's just your subconscious talking to you and trying to get off like these thoughts so at some point you thought about that during the day <laughs> i thought about peewee killing me <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i guess so Damn, Pee Wee, my bad, dude. What I do? No, um, another one, like little short one. Um, I remember it was when I was a kid. Um, there was a there was a clown in a barrel, <laughs> and I remember I was in um an all white room, like a a room just white, like all the walls are white, but there wasn't like any kind of end to it. You know what I mean? It was just like an all white room encompassing mm. everything um and um i just remember there was a clown laughing there was a barrel and um a clown had like like i could hear like a clown laughing from the barrel mm-hmm. and i was kind of like looking at it like huh like what is that and one of my uh one of the movies that i saw when i was a kid that really scared me was it mm, oh. yeah Bro, I couldn't pee for like days after that. <laughs> I was thinking that there was gonna be a, a freaking clown in the toilet or something like that, dude. I remember I peed <laughs> in the tub. <laughs> to be a child. But anyways, uh somebody like uh, a clown ended up popping up out of the barrel and like the barrel started like rolling towards me. And, like, it was so weird how, like, the clown was, like, in the barrel, but it was rolling forward, which Mm. made no sense. You know what I mean? Kind of thing. But it was, like, rolling after me. And it was just a clown. (laughs) (laughs) And it was running out. And it was going after me. I just remember running, running, running. And the whole dream, I'm just running from this fucking clown. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. <laughs> interesting <laughs> yeah i was i was probably like nine dude i was like eight nine years old like i was really little mm. this clown was fucking chasing me bro I've, I've never had a bad dream with a a clown in it so no no i don't think so not that i recall yeah yeah clown i mean <clears throat> i'm not scared of them now i mean i really don't i really don't like it you know, like when they come around, I get like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't like you. You're not funny. 
<laughs> I thought clowns are supposed to be funny, and you're not. You're just scary. Um, American Horror Story. If you guys don't believe this, Jeffrey has never watched any of the American Horror Stories. Mm -mm. There's this American Horror Story. Which one is it, babe? The American Horror Story with the clown? I think, yeah, it's a cult one and a carnival. What was a carnival one? Freak show. Bro. Mm. Scary shit, dude. That freak show one? It's a trip. American Horror Story, guys. <laughs> Once Jeffrey uh, decides to watch it, we'll have a top five of our favorite American Horror Story seasons. Mm. Okay. How many Sweet. seasons are there? There's like nine or ten, bro. Oh my god, I don't have time for that. <laughs> there's a lot of seasons, but like you get hooked, dude. You get hooked. Okay. And um, there's also like American Horror Stories now, where they're like shorter. They're like an hour long. But like it's like a story for an hour and that's, that's it, shorter instead of, <laughs> instead of like a season, you know what I mean? Oh, okay. Um, but uh, yeah, right. that's that's another one of my freaking nightmares when I was a kid, dude. Well, that was when I was a kid. Okay. Um, I'm gonna switch over to like I guess not recent but adult life. This is not really a nightmare, like scary, but. I guess it is kind of scary. Have you ever had the dream of where like your teeth fall out, or you're eating something, and like your teeth break? No, I haven't, dude. Those are that's. I always feel that like when I have that dream, I feel like I'm grinding my teeth in like real life. I was like, mm. shit, I don't want that to happen. <laughs> I feel like it, it's actually happening in real life. Um, oh. yeah. I don't know. It, it's usually just me just like eating something, and then it's like, oh. They're falling out, and that's it. I don't think I've ever mm -hmm. like had a dream of that, or like I've heard of people having dreams of like, like you know how in uh, I don't know, is it The Shining, or no, the Amityville Horror where like, or Poltergeist, Poltergeist is like when they're like take a little piece of skin off through their face, and then it's just like keep on coming off and keep on oh, coming off. That's a common one. I've, I've never had. I've heard that. of people having that dream. Huh. Like crazy. That's a trip. Huh. I've never heard that one. Yeah. I did look into this one. Uh, apparently, apparently, this is what the internet tells me. Wikipedia. <laughs> that <laughs> that dream is pretty common if, like, you're afraid of failure or, or some shit like that. Like, you, you don't want to mess up. But Aww. I don't know how it connects with falling, like, your teeth falling out. But hmm. <laughs> I have a lot of fighting dreams. Oh. Like, I have a lot of fighting dreams where, like, I can never feel the punches. Mm. So when hitting them, it feels like I'm hitting nothing. Mm. Like I know I'm doing it and I know I'm punching them and I feel like their face, but I only feel like the pressure kind of thing. Mm. I don't feel like any pain in my knuckles. And when I get hit, I don't feel any pain. Mm. Like I'm just like. Bro, and I fuck up these guys. <laughs> like, like, I don't understand. Like, <laughs> like I'll do, like, shit in my dream that I could never do in real life. <laughs> like, and it's, like, a lot of, like, jujitsu. Or, like, <laughs> like, taking guys to the ground and, like, fucking pounding them and shit. It's weird. Hmm. And I never lose. Wow. Like, I never <laughs> lose the fight. Have you ever, have you ever considered taking jujitsu or... Oh yeah, in real life, it's just mm. ex it's expensive, dude. Mm. Especially here uh, in San Diego, like like boxing classes and like jujitsu classes, wrestling cl like shit like that. It's all expensive, bro. Like it's like, mm. oh and also my schedule doesn't really allow me to go to like a place, mm. especially for that because of the hours. Also, the hours are always like whack, like eleven to five. Yeah. Or like what? Like prime time, oh. work time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> who who can who can afford to go here? <laughs> but um yeah. Yeah, that so like that's weird. Yeah. I remember, I remember, this was a nightmare or anything, but I remember having a dream uh with this guy that I worked with. But I mean he was like like we didn't get it like we never fought or anything, you know what I mean? We got along, like it was fine. But I remember having a fight with him because he was acting crazy at like a party and so he was acting crazy at a party and so i had to like 
get him down and, and like like i choked him out kind of thing and so he's like i have him i'm on i'm like on my knees and i have like i'm like holding his head and his body and i just start giving him like a like a talk <laughs> <laughs> about how he shouldn't be like this and how about the world doesn't need more people like him and wow uh, <laughs> wow i just remember like i remember waking up like what the fuck <laughs> why, why like why um interesting yeah another another nightmare i had uh i mean it wasn't like a huge nightmare but it was like a scarier dream you know um i remember going this is like one of the longer ones, I guess. Like I go into, um, we're like at the border, and for some reason in my in my mind, I know it's the border to Mexico City, but like we're leaving Calexico. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like so, like we're leaving Calexico, and it goes into the border of Mexico City, but we just like walk over, like if we're going to Mexicali. But in my head, it wasn't Mexicali; it was Mexico City. <laughs> All right. So yeah, so. We go over whatever, and I'm like, I'm with my whole family pretty much. And I remember I have to uh, tie my shoes. And so, like, I'm tying my shoes, and so my family, like, walks, like, uh, ahead or whatever. And so, like, they're walking ahead, and, like, they they go to the street, and I'm still, like, kind of tying my shoes, and I get up, and I'm kind of talking to, like, some random people. And so, at the end, my family turns left to where I can't see them. Um, so they go into the other street, but right when that happens, as they turn left at that spot, there's a big explosion oh. and I'm just like, Oh fuck. Like what the fuck? And then, so like, I look around me and like, everyone's gone. Mm. And so everyone's gone and behind me are two explosions coming from the ground. So it's just, Ooh, boom. And I just remember thinking, oh, shit. And so, like, I start running down the street. And as I'm running down the street, there's just explosions, like, coming out of the ground, like, next to me. Like, just, like, I'm running, I'm running. And as I'm going, it's like, pa, 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 like, out of the ground. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And this is, like, in the daytime. Mm -hmm. And so I go to the corner and I turn the left. And as I turn the left, there's, uh, like, it turns it's like a blanket of night just whoom and it turns to night and there's just destruction like everywhere <laughs> like like it's just destruction you know what i mean like mm -hmm. houses on fire like um like cars blown up like crazy shit mm -hmm. so i'm looking i'm like oh shit what the hell and so i look behind me and there's it's the same thing mm -hmm. and the street that i had got that i had came from it wasn't there anymore like it was just gone mm -hmm. and so like like so i turned back again and i'm running down the street and on the street i can see like people being hung by like invisible ropes and people off of off of like street lights and shit you know what i mean and like i just remember thinking like whoa shit and then all of a sudden i look to my right like across the street and there's like a big ass dog like a big ass like like hellhound kind of thing you know what i mean mm -hmm. and that shit just starts chasing me and so like i run around i run around the car and like it's chasing me and it jumps on like the 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 like the top of the car mm -hmm. and i like like does like a howl and like I know I'm about to get fucked up, but like I wake up. <laughs> Thank God. Like, <laughs> like, right before I'm gonna get fucked up, like I wake up and I'm like, oh shit. That dream was like it was a little cool, but like it was scary yeah. for sure. Where do you ever see your family again in the later? No. Yeah. It was like no, it was like they were dis like they had disappeared. Mm -hmm. And I was just seeing random people like being hung or like people being pulled like on the street like people like on the ground like yeah like screaming and shit mm -hmm. and they were like getting pulled like from something like into a building you know what i mean like mm -hmm. just like i'm just like seeing like different shit around me mm -hmm. like oh man that shit was crazy that shit was crazy huh yeah i wonder it what that dream means <laughs> oh no, yeah like it started out like 
decent because it was just like a lot of explosions you know what i mean and it was kind of crazy like that you know mm -hmm. but then it just like took it literally took a dark turn and fucking hey maybe because i felt like my life was taking a dark turn oh, oh, what? oh. was it I though think, i think it was <laughs> oh, damn. It was, I wasn't great <laughs> at that time. That, at that time, I was a, a young adult um, piece of shit that didn't want to do anything. <laughs> well, nom, 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 nom. I have a shorter one. Did you ever watch uh, the movie uh, Hellraiser? Mm, mm, mm -hmm. well, that dude, that guy freaked me the fuck out as a kid. Now that you're, now that you're like bringing up Hellraiser. I've I have I've had dreams of fucking Hellraiser just like just him you know what I mean mm -hmm. just like the needles or the needles dude <laughs> <laughs> yeah I don't even remember what he didn't even do anything I just he was there and I was just I'm out I'm freaked out yeah yeah that, <laughs> that, that, that's what I remember also I just remember like being in a room and like he was there Mm -hmm. And like just thinking like <laughs> I don't even know what his name was. Like he was just a, from a movie that my dad was watching. Yeah. And shit. yeah. Same. I was my my family was watching it one time and then I was like, oh what's this? And then I saw the part where like he sleeps with like the senator's wife and like daughter at the same time and then he starts <laughs> killing people and like dude, yeah. what the fuck's going on? <laughs> yeah and it was just i mean i don't even remember that movie that much mm -hmm. i just remember that guy that fucking scary ass guy with the <laughs> needles in his <laughs> with the needles in his head <laughs> and i don't know why that was why why that's would have been so scary because it's just a guy <laughs> i mean it didn't really look like needles it looked like nails kind of thing you know yeah they're but, like big needles there uh, could be nails but like, he was just chilling with his big needle nails. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess my last one, it's I it might have stemmed from like, cause my house got broken into. I didn't have this. Mm -hmm. I didn't have this dream till after the fact. But mm -hmm. not, it wasn't even immediate. But I always have this. This is pretty frequent. Maybe like once a month, or not even once a month. Once in a great while, I'll have a dream where it's me and a random family member mm -hmm. and then these guys like a group of guys they're trying to get into the house but they're not they're not trying to steal stuff they're trying to like kill us mm, so damn. that's why it's, it's like a little bit different so the whole dream we're just like running away we're just like oh shit they're over there we better go over here kind of thing so they're all hunting us down even if like some parts will get out of the house but they'll they'll follow us so it's just like a never-ending chase. This is one of my longer dreams. It'll just be like a big chase scene. You still have this dream? I mean, I haven't had it in a couple months, but it's frequent enough. Months? Yeah. Damn. But when did it start? When did it start? I like the only time I can see when it like got triggered was when my house got broken into. But well, when did that happened? That happened in, like 2020, I think. Mm, oh okay okay so this is pretty recent then yeah oh i remember okay yeah yeah um but yeah but these guys are hunting us down they're not they're not here to steal stuff so i mm. it could be it could not be but it's just always like one of it's like those psycho thrills just like oh shit we're gonna get caught and like we never get caught i always wake up before we get caught so nothing like act bad actually happens but mm -hmm. it's just one of those things like oh shit someone's following us kind of thing yeah that's crazy mm-hmm like my last one um this was actually after i had watched so i love the movie the mask like mm -hmm. i love it e ever since i was a kid like even when i was a kid like i used to love watching it all the time but the first time i watched it like i had a nightmare really uh, <laughs> had a nightmare um i remember it was a, it was a trip too because i was like yeah i was like five six years old and um uh this uh i remember running like on the side of a mountain because i'm a wolf and i'm not like a boy but i'm a wolf you know what i mean mm -hmm. and so 
it's me with another with like I'm in a pack of wolves kind of thing. Mm-hmm. I'm running towards the side of the mountain, and there's this fence that pops up, and behind it there's like a forest kind of thing, and there's flashes coming from the forest. Mm-hmm. And so I remember we we like run up to the fence, and while we're at the fence, like we turn into boys. <laughs> okay. You know? And so, like, I'm a little boy now, like, kind of behind the fence, and I'm looking across the fence, and there's these guys, like, in, uh, like, druid-looking guys, mm-hmm. like, walking this guy, and, like, he had, like, a black trench coat mm-hmm. with, like, black boots, and it was, um, like, he had a green face, uh, and so... And so the, um, they like walk him into a grave that was like pre dug. And like he goes into the grave. And as he's in the grave, he starts sinking into the grave. But as he's sinking into the grave, there's still like, it's not like lightning, but it's like, uh, like the flashing lights. What do you call those? The, the blinking lights, the fast blinking lights that they do at shows and fast. Oh, strobe lights. Strobe lights. Yeah. Uh, it was like strobe light effect. And so he was like, ha, 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 like, like <laughs> laughing into like the sky and shit as sinking down with a green face. And he had like a scar in his face also. So I just remember like that happened. And so then like it like I get like teleported to like a neighborhood. And in the neighborhood, everybody like everybody's running down the street. And they're like, it's the green guy. It's the green guy. <laughs> he's uh, like, he's out. He's out. He's alive. He's going to get us. And so like everybody's running. And so I start running. I start running. And I find my house, which wasn't my house. But in my dream, it was my house. And so I go into the house. And another theme here, I walk into the house. And it just ends up being like a room with four, like with four uh, walls. Mm-hmm. And they're, it's all white, like the roof and the ground, like it's all white. And in the center is uh, there's a couch and on the couch, it's my dad. Mm-hmm. And so I go and I go to my dad and I'm and like I get on his lap and I'm like, dad, dad, it's the green guy. It's the green guy. He's out. He's going to get us like it's a green guy. And he's like, OK, it's, it's OK, mijo. Like, it's fine. It's fine. And like, he's not going to get us. And like, so I look up and my dad is like looking down at me. And he takes off his mask, and it's the fucking green guy. Uh, and I'm, I'm like, ah! and then like I woke up. <laughs> <laughs> I had that dream like for years, like, huh. like not like uh, the same every time, but almost the same, pretty much the same, just like little differences here and there. Mm-hmm. But like I had that dream for years and years and years. Nice. And I remember when I was in high school. Um. Like, I wanted to be a writer. Like, or, like, I like to write, you know, here and there. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, but, like, I created a story on him. Mm. And it was, like, one of my favorite stories. I think I, st- I might still have it. I don't know. Yeah, you should release but, it. Go publish it, dude. Oh, yeah, bro. <laughs> Re- being released uh, next week. Michael's <laughs> green, green, green guy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but, yeah, I would have to say that was probably, like, like feeling wise that was probably like one of the scariest dreams like ever yeah like the way i felt during the dream and the way i felt after it was just like mm. yeah crazy the mask that's funny the ma- I've, I've never heard of a mask bad dream <laughs> but it makes sense it makes sense you know like i guess just because of the green face mm-hmm. but like I mean, I loved the movie, and I never didn't want to watch the movie, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And it never, like, made me not want to watch it again, you know? Mm-hmm. But I just remember having that dream, and I'm like, oh, fuck, little kid. <laughs> <laughs> All traumatized and shit. Mm-hmm. I remember there was this one time where um, my uh, my sister and I used to share a room, and... um my sister would always sneak off to my parents room Mm -hmm. like all the time every night 
and sometimes i would wake up and figure that she's not there and so i would go also to my parents room or sometimes i just would stay in my room because i didn't wake up or something you know Mm -hmm. and so there was this one time where i wake up and it looks like my sister is like hanging off of the bed because her shirt I guess she had like taken off her shirt and gone because she was probably hot and she went to like my mom's room, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, So like, I guess she had taken off her shirt and put it right there on the, on the bed, Mm -hmm. but it was kind of like hanging off the bed. And then at the bottom of the bed, there was like a stuffed animal that kind of had like hair, like on it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It So it looked like she was hanging off the bed and I couldn't see her head because it was right there behind the stuffed animal. So I'm like, and, and like the 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 blanket is covering like her body, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Or like, or like the end of the shirt. So it looks like she's like hanging right there. And I just remember thinking like, or I remember saying, Vivian, Vivian. And like, she doesn't answer. And I'm like, what the heck is going on? Why isn't she answering? She, why is she just hanging from the bed right there? And I like I couldn't move, and I was so scared, and I was frozen. And I look at the door, and of course my mind was playing tricks on me, but I could see like the the green guy going like this, <laughs> like peeking his head out in the doorway. Yeah, and I'm like, oh, <laughs> I just stay frozen right there the whole night, and like I couldn't like move, and like I couldn't like like I was just so scared. <laughs> and I guess I ended up falling asleep. And then the next day, my mom goes, Michael, why didn't you come to the room with us? Vivian came. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, she had, like, left to my mom's, like, uh, and she wasn't even there the whole time. And I just remember thinking, like, oh, my God. And I was, like, so mad at her. <laughs> Bro, another dream, actually, that same house. Now that we're talking about dreams, I remember being, uh, I was a kid. Oh yeah, at that at that apartment, I think we were like five, six, seven, something like that. Mm-hmm. So that was when um, I was watching the Power Rangers. So I had a dream that I was a Power Ranger, mm-hmm. and like with two like of my other friends, and we became Power Rangers. But it was like there was zombies. Mm. So like it was a bunch of zombies. Like, but I was like looking at myself. I wasn't myself in my dream. It was oh. kind of like as if I was watching, watching like a trailer or mm-hmm. something, you know? Like that, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And I'm just, like, I'm just like getting. What? Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what happened? My wife needs my wallet. Oh, what else <laughs> is new? I know. <laughs> And I was like, um, I was like fighting off these zombies. So I could see myself like kind of like trying to get them off me. But I had my like my big red power sword. And I'm just thinking like, oh, get you, they're going to get you. But it's me. <laughs> 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 and I'm just like, uh, uh, uh. but that was a pretty vivid dream, too. I actually forgot about that dream. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I, I didn't even know about zombies that when I was that young. Yeah, but like. I don't think in my head they were zombies. Yeah. It was just like people. Dead, dead people. <laughs> like dead people that were just like were trying to, Where? to like to get me. Yeah. <laughs> kind of thing. Take your power ranger power. Yeah. Take my power coin. <laughs> <laughs> but um any more dreams? Any more nightmares? So I can remember. Yeah. Well I wanna thank you guys for uh taking a stroll down spooky lane with us <laughs> <laughs> letting us uh talk about our bad dreams and our nightmares getting them off our chest it was really good yeah really good therapy. who Trying needs to a figure out why. yeah who needs a therapist <laughs> we can just talk it out <laughs> yeah just talk it out here on the podcast <laughs> which does come out every tuesday and thursday guys we have our top five countdown that comes out every Tuesday, and we do have uh, these short shows or you know these topic shows that we uh, have coming out um, every Thursday. So you know, trying something different, trying something new. Uh, check out the band that uh, we went ahead and uh, spotlighted in our show for this last Tuesday. 
on our top f- five Disney villains, Sam Sarah, their uh, single Ghost is out. Uh, ghost. Uh-huh. 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 That's spooky, huh? <laughs> it's a really great song. Uh, check them out. Uh, they're going to be on our Instagram. They were playing with, uh, they're going to be playing Hawthorne Heights November 4th. It's a sold out show. So that's really exciting for them. Uh, check out their music. We're on uh, Instagram, Michael and Jeffries dot top ten. Our uh, Facebook, Michael and Jeffries top ten. Our YouTube, it's all there on the link tree on our Instagram. Uh, you can check out all of our different sites and social medias. Um, and yeah, guys, thanks for listening. Mm-hmm. Uh, with that, my name is Michael, and I'm Jeffrey, and we love to pickle. Have a good one, guys. Peace.